the U.S. Air Force lands in the Indian military base. Indian Air Force and Army are jointly ready to fight China, and India successfully tests anti-submarine missiles. Amid the pressures among India and China, the U.S. naval forces long extended hostile to the submarine fighting and sea reconnaissance airplane P-8 Poseidon done its refueling from India's military base in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. While it was a simple refueling, the message of the U.S. anti-submarine and surveillance aircraft refueling from the strategic airbase of India is hard to miss. The development assumes more significance because it comes at a time when India and China are locked in a tense standoff in Ladakh. Both India and China have been signaling each other on their capabilities in the Indian Ocean region. Sosa said the refueling happened a week ago and was completed under the Logistic Exchange Memorandum of Agreement, marked among India and the US in 2016. India and the U.S. are additionally hoping to expand the military participation. Throughout the long term, India has quickened its weapon buys from the U.S. It's scheduled to purchase upward of $20 billion in American arms before the finish of 2020, a sharp increment from almost zero in 2008, according to the U.S. State Department. More recently, India has tried to quick track to buy 30 MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones from the General Atomics, in an arrangement that is probably going to surpass $3 billion, as indicated by the industry authorities. The drones could be deployed to India's disputed border region with China, altogether grow its observation over the region. The news was reported before by the India Today. In September of 2020, the United States also signed a defense agreement with Maldives, a tiny island country near India's border in the Indian Ocean region. That gives the U.S. a chance to counter China's capacity to extend its quality in the locale. India has been generally incredulous of unfamiliar military presence near its outskirts, however, honor the agreement. Air Chief Marshal of India RKS Badori, the Indian Flying Corps of IAF chief said, On Monday, India was completely fit for dealing with any threat from China or the border. The stalemate along the line of actual control or the LAC in the eastern Ladakh that there was no doubt of neighboring nations outmaneuvering us in any contention situations. He also acknowledged the strength of the Chinese People's Liberation Army or the PLA. Their air force includes surface-to-air systems in the Ladakh theater, air-launched long-distance weapons, and Jengdu J-20, which is a fifth-generation fighter with advanced sensors and weapons but does not have advanced engine technology. He however said, China has its own areas of strength, but we have catered for all scenarios and are fully capable of handling any threat. India has put its whole military on Operation Alert and almost the entire fleet of the Western and the Eastern Naval Command is at the sea. India on Monday successfully test-fired its indigenous download smart torpedo system, which the DRDO said will be a game-changer in the anti-submarine warfare, marking yet another milestone in strengthening the country's maritime strategic capabilities, said a defense source. The supersonic missile-assisted release of the torpedo was tested at 11.45 hours from the APG Abdul Kalam Island, earlier known as the Wheeler Islands of the Odisha coast. So what do you think of US Air Force landing in the Indian Air Force military base? And Indian Air Force and Army are combinedly ready to fight China in the both the borders and even in the Indian Ocean region. India successfully test fires an anti-submarine missiles, which is much needed strength for India right now. China hacked India's space agency, ISRO. Meanwhile, India successfully tested the night launch of Prithvi short-range ballistic nuclear-capable missile.
The US-based China Aerospace Studies Institute report has claimed that China attacked Indian satellite communications in 2017, among other counter space activities. The 142-page report says that between 2012 and 2018, China carried out multiple cyber attacks, even as the Indian Space Organization maintains that its systems has not been compromised so far. However, many say the ISRO hasn't been able to pinpoint source of cyber attacks over the years. Cyber threats are a given, but it cannot be assassinated who is behind such attacks. We have systems in place to alert us, and I don't think we have ever been compromised, a senior scientist said, adding that the Chinese may have tried and failed. The ISRO's chairman, K. Sivan, has denied any direct knowledge of such an attack on India's ground stations. As per the report, the China has multiple other counter space technologies, including the ascent kinetic kill vehicles or the anti satellite missiles, a co orbital satellites, director energy weapons, jammers, and cyber capabilities that are intended to threaten adversary space systems from going to their geosynchronized orbit. Notably, in 2019, India had demonstrated an, an anti-satellite or the ASAT missile technology on March 27 that gave India a kinetic kill option to destroy enemy satellites. The US-based China Aerospace Studies Institute it provides expert researchers and analysis supporting the decisions and policy makers in the U.S. Department of Defense and across the U.S. government. India on Wednesday carried out a successful test firing of Prithvi short-range ballistic missile developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization or the DRDO from the integrated test range Balasar off the coast of Odisha. The Prithvi 2 is powered by the liquid propulsion twin engine. An integral guidance system helps it maneuver the trajectory to hit the desired target. The first missile to be developed by the DRD under its flagship, Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, Prithvi has already been inducted into the arsenal of the armed forces in 2003. So what do you think of China hacked India's space agency, ISRO? Also, India successfully test fires India's a short-range ballistic missile which is capable of carrying nuclear.